I'm a trainer and coach. I have been living in Vietnam for more than 10 years. I love to work with young people, helping to explore them a long-term perspective in life. And this is exactly what I wanted to do with the boys in the shelter here. I used some very simple techniques, for example, paper folding with closed eyes, following a set of instructions, or constructing a paper model on what is important in life. Through these activities, the boys were able to gain a better understanding on diversity and finally visualize their long-term perspective in life. Each boy then shared his story with the entire group and we all reflected on the outcome. I'm an EFL teacher in Ho Chi Minh City. I was invited to help further Helga's life coaching on long-term perspectives and dreams. I adapted some Cambridge pre-listening and pre-reading techniques. I began by presenting some culturally relevant photos, concepts like home, family, a motorbike which represents freedom. From there I elicited to get their feedback, tap into their schemata, then I presented some concept checking questions to make sure they understood what I was talking about. From there, my goal was for them to dip into their pools of knowledge to really create a, an expressive, productive task. After using these techniques and having some fun and bonding with the boys, they were able to create some pretty impressive artwork. I'm at IT Visual. Uh, in this 
Eltern wegkommen, und wo ich glaube, sollte mein Bruder, mein Mann auch keine Kinder zu kehren von mir. Ich bin heute am Dorf today in my my home. Um, we call my home in this very far the modern modern village. Because um, I, I want to draw this picture because when I miss my mom, I miss you. Thank you. Lo cho bản thân. Cứ như thế được ba đến bốn năm thì lúc đó em không còn đủ sức để tự lo cho bản thân. Vì thế em quyết định đi đến Rimamu để sinh sống và nhờ sự giúp đỡ của thầy cô và xã hội ở nơi đó. Và những lúc em sống ở đó thì không còn những lúc túm thiếu và đói lạnh như lúc mình sống một mình nữa. Còn những những gì em vẽ trong tranh của em thì I'm Yinji Chan, I'm a photographer, and most of my work involves double exposure to realize how my memory affects the way I see the world. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to incorporate the, the drawing the kids made with the photo from Vietnam, and I think it will represent like how they see Vietnam by comparing the photo from actual Vietnam. Incorporating the photo from Vietnam, from the picture from the, the what kids did, I think it shows how they see Vietnam and I think for people from different countries it will show actual Vietnam and then what the kids saw and what they made out of it and I think it was, it's a great chance for people to understand a little bit more than just looking at their, their drawings. <laughs> Don't